What is going on, everybody? Uh, today, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the Cybertruck. Uh, a lot's been going on, and my initial reaction is, you know, was not very positive, and I've kind of come around. Um, but I just wanted to compile some different things here, some memes that we've seen of the Cybertruck, some new things we've learned, some things that I'm excited about, am I actually going to buy it, and some pretty interesting things I've noticed having to do with the Cybertruck or people's reactions to it. Um, so let's get into it. Thank you to Drake for my new high quality autopilot logo. Uh, he emailed that to me. He saw that the, the logo in my intro was a little low quality. So thank you. I really appreciate that. So I finally want to talk to you guys about the Cybertruck. There was a lot of videos about this. So I thought I'd give it a few days, kind of let it all soak in uh, because I know that my feelings have changed since we first saw the truck. So here's a clip of me reacting live to the Cybertruck coming out. And from that clip, I don't know, it might be hard to tell, but I literally thought this was a joke. Uh, in the live stream, if you were there, it was tons of fun. Thank you for coming. Everybody was typing, oh, it's a joke, it's a joke, they're joking. And when Franz brought out the sledgehammer, my thought was, oh, okay, they're going to hit it, the thing's going to break, the truck's either under there or the other truck's going to come out. And then he hits it, and then the audience, like, of course, they were kind of excited, but it seemed like they didn't really know how to react. <laughs> And then they bring out, you know, the ball and they break the window. And that's when I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. That's the joke. Here comes, you know, here comes the real truck. And it's just, that's it. That's the, that's the truck. And, and I'm like, really, really? So post reveal during the live stream, I was speechless for, you know, a good five minutes, maybe a little more. And I didn't know what to say. But within the hour, I actually ended up ordering it. And that was due to mostly one person in the chat paying for that reservation. So thank you again. But I am legitimately interested in this truck. And I think out of the Tesla YouTubers, it kind of fits me the best. Um, not to say that no one else can get it, of course. Um, but just where I am, I live out in the woods. I do have to occasionally get gravel delivered and things like that. So with this truck, I could just pick that up myself. We can get a lot of snow and sometimes they won't plow. Another thing is I do have a generator, a gas generator, and I'm super excited to be able to plug into this truck and power my house through this truck. I mean, that's huge. So I've noticed this with a few other people as well. So here is my wife's reaction when I first told her about the truck. Sorry, I don't fully get her face. I was trying to keep the camera hidden. I wanted a genuine reaction from her. So check out that clip. All right, are you ready to see the truck? Yeah. All right, here it is. It's about to come out. All this mist and fog. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? Do you believe it? Is that an actual truck? The Tesla stream lagged, that's why it's pausing. Oh. Am I waiting for something to happen? Just do you believe it? I believe it. I mean, <laughs> it looks like I bought a one. spaceship. I pre-ordered it. <laughs> How is that a truck? Are you, are you happy that I pre-ordered it? Sure. <laughs> Did you know I have a tiny little baby? And babies gotta eat. So this video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. Check out their Black Friday sale with tons of awesome deals. You can use the code Dirty Tesla Party to get 20% off. I did ask her again today, it's five days later, and she still is not really sold on it. Uh, to her, she said, it looks like it's from the future and she won't believe it exists until she sees one on the street. <laughs> so that's pretty funny, but I think a lot of people um, kind of think that. I've heard from some other people that they think this is just the concept and it's going to change um, either dramatically or slightly before it's actually released. Of course, that's possible. And then I had a buddy come over. It was two or three days after the reveal. And of course, he knows I'm all into Tesla. So the first thing he says is, did you see that truck? That thing is ugly. I said, I agree. It looks goofy. I still think it looks pretty goofy, although the idea of the entire truck overall has warmed up to me and I'll continue explaining that to you. But we were talking about it for most of the night. And then by the end of the night, uh, a little bit before he left, here is his reaction. It was zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. 
That's crazy. What are you doing there? Um, I'm going to pre-order a truck. Tesla truck. <laughs> Cyber truck, baby. What did you tell me about it like two hours ago? I, two hours ago, I said it was ugly. And, but, that, and now what are you doing? But now, I, um, now I'm pre-ordering it. <laughs> So I don't know if he actually ended up ordering it. I never saw him actually click the order button or anything, but he was legitimately talking about pre-ordering it. Again, it's just $100, fully refundable, um, but he kind of almost didn't want to miss out. He was like, this thing does look and sound pretty cool. So he was saying he just wants to put his head in just to kind of be ready if he really wants to go through with it. So there have been a lot of memes flying around on the internet. I'd love to share some of those. Um, so I'll have those rolling as I talk about some of the things of the truck that stuck out to me. So the 500 mile range for the price, uh, I mean, everybody's excited about the 500 mile range, but it's $70,000. The Model S starts at 80,000 and doesn't even go 400 miles. So that is huge. And then when you compare it to something like Rivian, um, it's just a lot better value. You're getting a lot more miles per dollar. And then the starting price of 39,000, I mean, it's unbelievable, really the only negative there for me. I think 250 miles is pretty good for most people. Um, the negative though is the rear wheel drive. It's not something I am particularly interested in, although comparing to other pickup trucks, that's pretty common for the lower ends to be rear wheel drive. And the other crazy part about that is you're getting a 250 mile pickup truck for the same price as the Chevy Bolt. Now, of course, like people aren't really cross shopping that unless they're just looking for an electric vehicle no matter what but it's just crazy to think about what you're getting for that same amount of money and so this is the main reason the Cybertruck has really kind of caught my attention and again initially I was like forget that I don't want to drive the thing around but for the price it's like the same price as my Model 3 and they're both all-wheel drive they go the same distance except now I have a six and a half foot bed seating for six adults much more interior room. It goes up to 16 inches of ground clearance, which again, for me is awesome. You still get autopilot, you still get software updates, all those amazing Tesla benefits, but you get the utility of a truck without having to pay for all the gas it normally takes to run a truck. So I do got to talk about the looks a little bit. Uh, I still think they're very strange. Um, I get why it looks that way. It has to do with the material the truck is made out of, the folding they do. Uh, it makes it really rigid, easy and fast to produce. Uh, but come on, it looks ridiculous. I personally am not one that really cares about fashion in any sense. I've not cared about clothes or, or the cars I drive. Now I do drive a Model 3, but I drive it for the utility the cheap maintenance, the cheap fueling, you know, all those things. It's fun. I like tech, you know, I'm into that stuff. So I didn't buy it for the styling. I'm not so much concerned with what people would think or say about it. Uh, it's really not a big deal to me, but it would draw a lot of attention. Even like two, three or four years after this thing has been released and is driving around, it's people are still going to point it out. It's still going to be catching people's eyes, you know, almost like something like a Hummer or an Aztec, you know, those cars, like, they became common. They were all over, but you still, you notice them. You know, you see them, you might point them out. And I personally, that's just not, like, something I'm interested in, that type of attention. On the other side, that can be fun if I'm parked somewhere and someone sees the car and asks about it. I actually do enjoy that. Um, but just, like, while driving and, and in different scenarios, it's it just can be kind of weird. In response to somebody on Twitter, Elon said that they might make a smaller version of this truck, which would be pretty nice, actually. So the thing is massive. Here's a graphic of a size comparison to the Tesla Model 3. Another funny thing, a vice president at Ford challenged Elon to an apples to apples comparison, Cybertruck versus uh, whatever, who knows what he meant. But just like you'd expect, Elon responded with bring it. Uh, and then the next day, <laughs> Ford had a press release of like, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what it said, but something like, yeah, never mind. We don't we don't actually really want to do that. Um, so that's, that's pretty funny. I mean, Ford really has nothing to gain from this. Um, they're just giving Tesla free publicity. Another thing really interesting about the Cybertruck is this is the first thing uh, that has really divided the Tesla community. But I've noticed just like with myself, uh, my buddy, and a lot of people I've seen on the internet, people are just slowly coming around. Somebody posted this picture of a Model S in Cybertruck style, and the comments on the post were all positive. You know, they were all, oh man, this is so cool, or whatever they said, and I'm just thinking, if somebody posted this two weeks ago, we'd all think they were nuts. So this is just, I, I don't know, the, the most remarkable thing about this truck so far has been the change in everybody's attitude so quickly. Now, non-Tesla fans, I think, are still kind of scratching their head and unsure. I got used to it really quick, um, and I admit I'm a Tesla fan, um, but I try to be subjective, and like I said, when I first saw the thing, I 
really thought it was a joke. Even uh, you guys on YouTube, I posted something, uh, you know, Elon had liked one of my tweets, which is, of course, super exciting for me. Um, and so I just was sharing that with people. And it was about the Cybertruck. I didn't even really ask about the Cybertruck. And I got some, you know, kind of mean comments or negative comments about it, which is fine. I don't mind. But then I posted a couple days later this picture of the Cybertruck against the Rivian. And like every comment, not not 100 percent, but I would say 90 percent of the comments were for the Cybertruck. There were a couple of comments that said I'd rather have an F-250 or Rivian's better or whatever. Um, but I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the switch around. And again, I have a Tesla channel, so I understand most people seeing that are, are fans of Tesla. But the point is. The first day that the thing was revealed and I, I posted that, you know, tweet, it didn't matter that most people seeing my channel were fans of Tesla. They were not happy. They weren't liking the look. They weren't liking talking about the Cybertruck. Uh, and then a few days later, I think it was maybe two days later, uh, nope, all good. We we like it now. So it's just pretty crazy. I, I think that people needed to get used to the look and then they kind of said, oh, well, maybe it's not that bad or I, I don't know. I really don't know. But it happened to me too, and 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 for me, it was the comparison of the car I already own, the Model Three, versus this. Um, again, I, I bought my Model Three for utility. That's why I buy cars and vehicles. Uh, I just want it to do a really good job for me. I want it to be the best tool I can have, um, and something I enjoy. And and I have that with my Model Three. And then this is to me, like you know, not looks wise, but it's just like my Model Three, but more utility. For the same price. Uh, so that's why I'm excited about it. Well, thank you for watching this one. Uh, I'm really interested in your thoughts as well. Let me know what you thought on reveal night versus how you're feeling now or a few days later. It's just so funny. I'm seeing it everywhere and I'm really excited for this to develop. I mean, Elon is tweeting about this every single day. We're learning new stuff all the time. Um, and it's just, it's been a lot of fun. This has been like so exciting. Um, so I look forward to talking to y'all in the comments and you will see me in the next video.